Welcome back to Glad We Had This Chat and welcome to our listeners' questions episode. And this week we have Amber Gill. Right, first question this week is from Bex, that's all I know. I'm in my 20s and recently moved down, moved down to London from up north. We've both done that. Yeah. I work remotely and I'm struggling to make friends. Do you have any advice on where to meet new people in London? I'm not the best person to ask about this because I don't go out. And I'm 54 and I've got my mates. And the pub scene's gone a bit. Maybe the gym? The gym. Maybe gym, a gym. Gym classes. Yeah, classes. Yeah, there you go. classes, run clubs. Okay, you lost I mean, me there. I'm not running, babe. Unless well, there's a big bear chasing me, I'm not I'm not running. Some of the guys with run club are fit, though. The lot, lots of girls go to a run club for just the men. There you go, Bex. There you go, Bex. Might meet the love of your life at run club. <laughs> or just someone who's fit. Yeah, just or Yeah. Yeah, no pressure, Bex. Uh, from Vanessa, I've been on a few dates with a guy I started to like. Oh, I really started to like. We spent the night together and he has since ghosted me. Okay, we're going to have very similar views. Look at her face. <laughs> I'm feeling hurt and confused. Should I reach out to him again? Uh, no. Fucking no. And tell him how I feel or block, delete and move on. Block, delete, move Block, delete, on. move on and maybe set fire to something. Yeah, yeah. Of his. Yeah. Maybe have some kind of ritual. I'm not intentionally causing harm, but I would, you know, get a match. I would, yeah. Also, who does he think he is? No, people are the worst, man. But I don't like how when people get ghosted, they think, what did I do? Yeah. I think... You weren't enough for me. If someone doesn't like me, I'm like, there's something wrong with them. I love that. There's something wrong. What star sign are you? Leo. (laughs) So am I. (laughs) Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I think Ava might have done that when we were out and she did the charts and stuff. Yeah, she's sad. She's sad. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> yeah, there's something wrong with you. How can you not like me? Yeah, like what? Well, you've you know, clearly got something going on in my life. One of my proudest moments as Ava's mum is I can't remember what relationship it was, so don't have a go. I'm not going to name any names because she, she'll go all like mum. But she literally said to a bloke, What about this makes you think I'd settle? Yeah, love, love. I was like, You she got it are from my mama. goddess. <laughs> you are my goddess. If I, I would wish that for every young woman. Yeah, they need that. They need I that. am not going to settle, mate. Yeah, don't, oh, no, think don't it's chase. You. Don't think it's you and don't care if you're a ghost. Yeah, just think, yeah, oh It's God. not you, babe. Block, delete, move on. Yeah. Right, uh, Olivia. I've recently started out creating content on social media and have grown a great following in a short space of time. However, I keep getting hate comments and trolls on my posts, which I wasn't prepared for. How do I deal with negativity and not let it get to me? Mm. I mean, there's two ways of dealing with it. You can either limit your comments. Yeah. You can block certain words. So if you're getting trolled for certain things, you can yeah. block certain words. Um I would just say don't engage and what you give oxygen to grows. So if you're going to pet spend all your attention on it, you're only going to see the negative. I'm a bit toxic. And you'll engage and be like, oh, I'll fucking help you. I take pride in making someone delete their comment. Nice. Because I'm an original Twitter troll, so you can't come for me and nothing. I'm going to come back at you harder a hundred times. If I have time, sometimes I'm like, okay, I'll engage. You yeah, got my attention. I know. I but know. for the most part, I'm too busy too. And I don't really get that much anymore. I mean, I do in certain I places, don't, to but be I fair. don't care. I don't. I think I don't. when people know that you really don't care. Yeah. Like, I don't care. When I interviewed Stacey Solomon, she said, um, and someone else, Grace Dent, did a similar thing. They said, I said, you know, if I want to be trolled, I'll just, I want to be called a fat slag, I'll talk to Jim. You know, like, <laughs> like in a joking way, obviously he would never. But, you know, Stacey went, what are you going to do? Tell me I've got a big nose. Yeah, like, oh, okay. No, no, I engage. I get satisfaction from it. I love nice. making people delete their comments. Nice. Someone was commenting on my body. Oh, and no. I love, I just clicked on the profile picture. The beard was sporadic. And I just said, your beard is golden. And the guy, everyone was like, oh, my God, I can't believe you said that. I'm no. like, so people, well, I think people have just learned, don't come to my page and send hate because I'm going to hate on you way harder. So there's, I think there's this real misconception that and other people who handle it well, like Jackie Ina handles it really well. If yeah, she gets yeah, a really yeah. bad comment, she gets their name, puts it on screen, and yeah. she's like, she, she was doing one the other week, she was doing a makeup, and she went, so let's say Bex, whatever, it's not, sorry, but Bex, da da da. You, girl, you need to know that there's consequences when you talk to people like this online. Because then you get, oh, you're a bully, you're going, no, no, if you come to me with that energy yeah, and I man. meet you with that energy, I'm not yeah. a bully, I'm just responding. I mind my business when people come to me. Yeah, if and you, you bring it you get to me, back. what you get back is on you. Yeah, mm. but I'd also say, Worry when people aren't speaking about you at all, yeah. not when people are speaking bad about you. Yeah, you must be doing something right, yeah, Olivia. Yeah, if people are speaking bad about you, enjoy. Don't let it get to you. You know, it's like there are people out there who think Beyonce isn't, Is the, isn't Beyonce. Yeah, yeah. They They're don't mediocre, like, they yeah, say, yeah. yeah so. they don't, you know, and I respect Beyonce as an artist. I don't love her music, yeah. but I fucking respect what she's done. Yeah. 
But I, I'm confident enough I would never be like, oh, I hate Beyonce. No, no, no. You know, no, it's no, like, no. it's just too negative. Don't engage with negativity. Yeah. Like, But we are instinctively, I think, we can get 10 amazing comments, get one negative and focus on the negative. Yeah, it is like that. In the early days, for sure. I don't do it as much now. I'm just like, oh, you're wrong, delete. Yeah, I know. Like, you know, like, anyways. Oh, you clearly have no eyes. I'm fantastic. Yeah, delete. no, I'm the same. No, I'm the same. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, I've been trying to maintain a consistent fitness routine for years now, but always end up falling off the wagon. Do you have any tips or advice for staying consistent? Do something that you enjoy. Mm-hmm. Find something that you love. I love lifting weights. Yeah, man. Heavy, heavy weights. I can't do too heavy. All right, okay. You know what? I like lifting I weights, but up. I don't like when people... Like, oh, no. I don't like that. My back would go, babe. I'm 54. Yeah, no, I don't like that. And I left it too late to be, like, super, super fit. But, you know, losing weight was never about the weight. That was what was eye-opening for me. It was never about the weight. What was it about? Health. Right, okay. So my trigger was, like I've mentioned before, was mum dying yeah. and caring for her and how frail she was. And I was like, fuck this, there's no way. Right, right, right. And that, right. that was like, you've got to take care of yourself. You know, if you look at both sides, my parents, what I'm predisposed to in terms of autoimmune and heart, I was like, no, lose weight. It's not like I was mahusive, but I felt unhealthy. Yeah. And now I feel healthier. And that's, I feel stronger, healthier. And it, and yet I've, my clothes size have changed, but it's never been about, I never, I, I weigh myself just to make sure I'm not on, I'm on track. Yeah. But I'm never, like, depressed or happy, depending on what the scale says. It's purely logistical. Yeah, you can't be. You can't be. I think I'm the same. I probably tie it to how much I weigh, but I don't think it is. I think it's the benefit that you get. It's how you feel. Yeah, because you just feel yeah. better when you exercise. But it's always got to be about enjoyment for me. If I'm not enjoying it, I'm not doing it. There's yeah. no way. So I have oh, to do I'm things that same. I like. Like, you know, the thought of doing a hit class, it's not going to happen, let's be honest. Oh, really? Some of the girls come back to our office and they're, like, pink in the face and they've done a hit class and I'm like... <sighs> Jumping up and down, I mean, a burpee should be banned. <laughs> Who invented be. a fucking burpee? It should be, yeah. A burpee. I don't like a burpee. Even the name I hate. Yeah, burpee. I see people doing I'm like, you're going to do yourself an injury, mate. Yeah. No. I like the CrossFitters. They they love doing 5,000 burpees in one go. That's just not normal behaviour. Yeah. For what? You get a medal at the end, I don't get it. <laughs> enjoy things that you enjoy. Do something you enjoy. And for me, I had to get a trainer. I knew I would not get out of bed. Yeah. And yes, it's a luxury, mm-hmm. but I mean, I've worked my ass off my whole life. Yeah. It's a luxury I'm going to spend money on because it's my health. But I, I'm, there are days where I know I would not get up if I wasn't going to see my trainer yeah. because I will not let him down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes, because personal trainers get a lot of heat at the minute. Like, you can just YouTube things. I don't think mm-mm, you can. Mm-mm. I think that they know what they're doing and you know how yep. your back's supposed to be, how your head's supposed to be tilted. Yeah. And they watch your form. Exactly. I've had a massive shoulder impingement. It's been like six, seven months yeah. and it's just easing. Yeah. And I had, my PT knew about it, so I'd still lift weights, but we'd work around it. Yeah. And I had intensive like sports massage once a week. I had to, it's absolute agony. Yeah. Anna, you're a brutal beast. She's like five foot tall too. <laughs> Lists like 40 kilos in each arm when she's just chilling out. I'm like, <laughs> but this woman can crucify a man with one thumb. I love that. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to die. I'll give she's like, it's fine, it's fine. I'm like, oh, but... I had to because I can't, I don't want to be on meds. I don't want to be old and stiff and frail. Yeah. And I'm doing it purely for longevity. But if you are on your own as well, you probably would have made it worse. Yeah, I would have made it worse and I would have given up. I would have said, oh, I shouldn't work out, I'm in pain. Yeah. Whereas I would turn up in agony and be like, Sam, it's really sore. But okay, we'll do this. We'll what do about this. your other arm? Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, what is it? in his face would be like, okay, I don't care about your problems. Let's do this instead. Yeah. I'm like, oh, it's going to do legs. This episode is obviously brought to you by the Skin Rocks app. You're free to download Ultimate Guide to Skincare, made by me, all in one place, with a catalogue of over 24,000 products and over 600 expertly written articles and guides with new content daily. It really is your destination for your best skin yet. And I'm thrilled, because I can, to offer you an exclusive discount to unlock an elevated app experience with exclusive features and even more skincare expertise from me, plus so much more. Revolutionize the way you discover, shop, and learn about skincare with our multi award winning app. Download the Skin Rocks app for free and sign up to premium with your exclusive code CHPOD, all in caps, to save £10 off your annual subscription. More details in the show notes. Sophia, I've recently come out of a toxic relationship and I'm going to be single for the first time in years. I'm scared of being alone. I mean, I'm not. I'm scared of being alone and have jumped from relationship to relationship since my teenage years. This time I really want to stay single and learn to love myself. Any advice on how to learn to love myself and enjoy my own company? Well. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot. Congratulations, babe. Well done in getting out of the toxic relationship. This is the best thing that you'll ever do in your life. Sit and feel it, I think, because you feel shit for ages. 
be you sit and feel it yeah. the benefits afterwards are great yeah. but I quite like sitting on my own I like sitting on my own I like sitting on my own I love I'm it I'm married to anyone who doesn't know <laughs> no, I do I'm, love I'm my husband my I'm on my own but I love it I love being alone I think I've got so much freedom I don't have to tell anyone where I am I don't mm-hmm. have to come back at a certain time I don't have to base my life around someone else's life it's mm. great it's so freeing do you think you want kids at some point I don't know. Yeah, interesting. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not obsessed with the idea. Like yeah. I wouldn't mind if I get to a point where I feel like I've done everything that I want to do in life. Yeah. I'll have kids, yeah. and it's within the right time frame. Then I would. Yeah. But, but you're not obsessed. No. I love that for women in the younger generation because obviously in my generation it was well when you're gonna have kids when not do you think you will yeah. when, and I love that like Ava will say. I'll probably have kids, mum, but not for 10 years. And I'm like, yes. Yeah, yeah. I love that. There's no pressure for me. I'm like, just give me a baby at some point and yeah. let me be there. No, no problem. Yeah, yeah. Just better let me be there. <laughs> later on in life, though. Yeah. yeah. Do it when you're later. And also, I've said to you, don't worry about getting married. Dad and I got married. I wanted to get married. I wanted to have the same surname as the kids. And the kids went to a church school. And it was this is like 30 years ago, you know? Right. Now, I say to Ava, you don't get married, babe. Yeah. Don't get married. Find good people. Be happy. And that's it. Be happy. I don't care who you're with. I don't care what sex they are. I don't care what colour they are. Yeah. I don't care where they're from. I don't care about anything. I want you to be happy. Yeah. And I would like a grandchild. Yeah. That's it. That's my only... I think that's fair, you know. <laughs> that's very fair. But it's good. It's good, though. It just means girls, because, it, again, it's girls. That Always get girls. Pressure. Men aren't, oh, bachelor at 45. It was George Clooney, still available and hot. Yeah, I know. I'm like, he is. His, he is punching. His wife is phenomenal she's stunning half his age not quite half his age but young yeah top lawyer he did well i know she is not mrs george clooney but like they think that he's top guy but yeah. if it was a woman it's like disheveled disheveled she's a cougar yeah. how the... how can she take away oh i can't be doing with no, it. no. anyway so i don't know if we went off on a tangent but i hope you yeah, learned no, something the there question? sophia <laughs> uh she wants to learn how to love herself she'll probably hang out with us a bit more yeah yeah definitely be around people who big you up yeah that's man. a big lesson don't keep friends if they're not friends no. If people make you feel bad or make you embarrassed or they don't spend their life telling you how amazing you are, they're not a friend. Exactly. Good people, good circle. Yeah. Just look okay. in the mirror and become obsessed with yourself as well. Nice. nice. Positive chat. Yeah, I love it. Imogen, I'm dating someone who has different political or religious views than me. Uh, so I mean, repeat myself, I'm slurring because I've got a nice cup of tea. I'm dating someone who has different political or religious views than me. Can a relationship work despite these differences and how do we navigate them? I think it depends. It depends I say, on what the... Yeah. I would say, my main concern would be, are they a Tory? Yeah, yeah, no, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. Are they super right-wing and racist? Yeah. Why would you be in a relationship with them? Yeah. Um, if the religion if the religion is such that their family will, won't recognise you, I wouldn't stay in the relationship. Yeah. Because you've got to have the family support, I think, unless they're going to leave the religion. Yeah. Do you want to be responsible for that? It's a big thing. But political, I don't think I could be with someone. I couldn't. I don't think I could be with someone who's politically different from me. I couldn't, I couldn't. I just, I just couldn't. It wouldn't work. It wouldn't work. Because I wouldn't respect them if we're my, voting differently. My views are based on everything that I am, my morals, my values, everything. If someone doesn't share 